There's a jungle loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle loud. Crying out loud. There's a there's a there's a jungle out there and the hunt is on. A jungle out there and the hunt is on. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna hunt you down. We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on There's a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on is on. We're gonna hunt you down, we're gonna hunt you down We're gonna come, we ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on a jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt you down We ain't playing, it's the last thing on our minds Stop crying much if you really, really wanna stop crying Be safe when you're home, be safe when you're street It's a cold place and I'm really feeling the heat I never wear gold cause someone's always peeping by the fender Still crying much, came and give TNT confidence I had a dream in the dark, I had a dream in the spring I had a dream, I had a dream like my new There's king. a jungle out there and the hunt is on A jungle out there and the hunt is on We're gonna hunt we gonna hunt you down. Yo, there's a jungle out. There's a, there's a, there's a jungle out. Crying out loud. 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 Crying doing what you have to do and sit down religiously. All the moms and dads who have your kids working outside there, worried, waiting till your children come home. Some might be stuck in traffic. Tell them they can download the app, the Ian Allen app, and look at it on Facebook or YouTube. They can look at the program live, wherever they are in the world. If they're waiting for a bus, they're waiting for a train, wherever they are, they can look at Crime Watch. You know, ladies and gentlemen, I saw something today and I said, wow, things, freak accidents can really happen. Sometimes you, you go and you, you, I can remember when, and I don't know if you all have that, researcher, the last time somebody, so I, I know a guy from South, he lost his life when a waka blade came out of the waka, whatever happened, and slit his throat somewhere in South. Yeah, I see the same waka blade. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I saw a photograph of a woman where her entire forehead, the blade flew out and cut her. Parental guidance is strongly advised. We have to blur the whole top. This woman, get away. When I tell her, get away. And that is why sometimes, in fact, we had ordered a, a, a worker and some big brand and the person who was telling her who I bought the rocker from said that don't ever put an inferior blade or sometimes what they're doing now, they adjust the blade and they change the bottom of it, the bottom where the blade, the blade is attached to, they put an inferior bolt or nut or whatever and keep going with the only brand, the brand of the rocker, do not adjust the blades and whatnot. And it's frightening, it's really, really frightening that and sometimes when somebody's wackering, Make sure you're not, you're not a wrong. Make sure that a stone can always pitch and shatter your windscreen. Children, don't be in the yard. We have a habit to letting children sit down somewhere and looking at us, you know, while we walk around things. Because walking is a big thing in, in the Caribbean. It's a big thing in Trinidad. A lot of people, that's their bread and butter. And we don't know the circumstances, but all we know, ladies and gentlemen, that this woman, a blade, apparently, but I'm seeing her with a kiss jersey, so we don't know if she's working kiss. But nevertheless, all we know, the blade flew out. And hmm, this woman could have lost her eyes. We don't know what nerve in her forehead was damaged. It was close to her eyes. We don't know what could happen. What could happen? But boy, 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 this woman get away. God was on her side. Maybe the devil made a, 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 a push, but God pulled her back. 
and thank God she's okay. And this is really sad. This is, this is crazy. When I tell you crazy, this is crazy. Take my audio down. Let me ask you all a question. Take my audio down. Good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. And that's why I tell you things happen. You know, and to make, make sure his name is not his name is not um, highlighted and whatnot. Go back to the video, please. Go back to the video. Yeah. The, the photo of the person, please. Hi, caller. Good evening, you're live on Crime Watch. Yeah, kind of block it off, kind of listen to it. It's a video on it. Somebody I want to call because a lot of people. Could you call an axe for it, please? I have one with a, I don't know if it's a watermark or whatever. Yeah, but that is, that, that is crazy. That is, that is crazy. You should have seen the 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 the, the photo with all the blue <laughs> that could have gone straight in her eyes that woman really got away today really really got away and that is why i tell you every day when you go to work you know it reminds me it reminds me and send me a number tell us send me a number i'm trying to get this woman who husband died in the when the tire blew out put back that video people sometimes you take work for granted you take things for granted and you don't know you don't know sometimes you every day bucket going down and well but one day things is happen you know one day things is happen one day things is really really happen Could you ask her where, 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 where is the number? All right, so you just have to be, you know, you just have to be careful. It really reminds me of the video where, you see this thing called, you see when you go to work on a, 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 a morning, you don't know if that is the last day you see your husband, you see a child, you see, you, 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 and that's why, don't, you know, top people just get up like hog in the morning, they're vexed, they swell up, they, they, have a, they, are, they, are, they, are, they have a bitter energy, and, and when things happen, you live with regrets, you live with regrets. Look at this woman. This woman could have lost her life this morning. And you know, my mind went back. My mind went back to when this fellow would retire a couple of weeks ago. And they made numerous reports. They made numerous reports. Remember this guy retire? About the truck being overloaded. And this fella, and you know, this somebody husband. This is the photograph we have here of the gentleman. I don't know if we have the photograph, yes. Look at him, a young fella. I wanted to find out from his wife what exactly was going on.
So that's why I tell you things could happen. That's why I tell you things could really, really happen. Things could happen. Things could happen. Things could really, really, really happen. And I wonder, I mean, look at this. A, a blade, uh, a truck, a truck. Look at I mean, the tire blown away, blow away the man. Look at, look at, look at the video. I mean, it's crazy. That's what I tell him. And he went to work. He went to work. Good, good, good. 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 And that's why you don't know something. You don't know when things can happen. You don't know. You really don't know. You know, life is promising, you know. And that's why every day you get up, you need to pray. You need to say something positive. Speak something positive. You jump in a car. You don't know if a car can leave the next side of the road and come and knock you down. You don't know passing by a container truck. You don't know if the whole container could fall along on you. You remember the woman jumping on a PTSD, on a PTSD bus. Some truck lost some piece of steel, went through and killed the woman inside the PTSD bus. You all remember that? And that was a couple of years ago that happened. Yeah. Things could happen. This, things could happen when you leave your home. When you leave your home, you just do not know. You just do not know what will happen. What will happen when the if, when when the evening come, you just don't know. And some of you as well, I like to sensitize you. I like to tell you, say a prayer. You run out of the house like it's yours. Like the day is yours. You understand? Are you the wife for the... Put up a CG for me. I don't know if she will answer the phone because she don't know I have a number for her. Just wanted to find out how she coping. I was trying to call the wife of the, the fellow who, who, was blown, who was blown away by the truck. I got a number. You see, that, you see what happened there? That happens, that happens a lot of times because people call you, give you numbers. When you call them back, I can't call you twice. I'm sorry, I can't call you twice. I just can't call you twice because, or three times because we have so much people have to call. So it's like when I, I, I mean, I make up a man, I go to call you. When I call you plenty times, somebody call back, somebody call them back, they don't answer. When they, they quick to tell you, well, I call you, and then, but I call you, but you didn't answer. What you want me to do? You understand? Look, I saw, I saw a case. You all heard this little boy making allegations against well, somebody, like his father, but we can't hear the father's name or anything, yeah? But I wanted to fuck a lot, a lot of people called me and they said, you heard about this little boy saying that he was abused by his father. Now I listened to it, and let me tell you what's happening. Let me tell you what's going on here. Yeah? And I learned this early o'clock. You see when wife and husband separate? Listen to that video by time for me, please. Huh? You see that wife and husband separate? There are people, there, there, there are sometimes children, they use the children to, to hot up the, the either parent head. Maybe they might say, the wife take up a man and the, wife, and the man interfering with the daughter. He has the, his, his, the daughter, the wife, the wife, um, the wife new man beating the, the, his son. All kind of thing, allegations. All kind of allegations. And I've learned that early o'clock. And I listened to that video and without even talking to them, I said, I don't want to jump to conclusion and saying, I'll listen. Now, in the past, I have investigated cases where persons made allegations 
And it was, you know, it was truth. But nevertheless, I listened. And it's a clear case, this boy, was, this child was coach. And was, you know, what to say. And a lot of people came down my truth. How come you were airing that? Well, first of all, I cannot air the identity of the child. Neither can I air the identity of the father. You understand? So I'll just play a little voice clip, a little voice clip of it. Go ahead. He's going to take about an hour with that, you know. Just one minute. I just want one minute of it. All right, so I, I, I want, you know, I, want, I wanted to play that for you. I just decided to do it. According, according, somebody just said that what they do with the waka, they take off the guard. That if the waka flies out, if it flies out, it could still. I already would, you know, want to find out more about that, but nevertheless, somebody just called. The, 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 the operator said that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, a police constable was denied bail after he was charged with soliciting money from a robbery victim when he appeared before Maureen Babula Gafur at the police Pain 5th Magistrate Court on Monday the 16th. The suspect was identified as 7283 Constable D Dion Ince. That is all we have. Constable Dion Ince, who is attached to the Capital City Patrol, Unit CCPU, Port of Spain Division, as the Capital City Patrol Unit, CCPU, Port of Spain. He's a constable, Dion Ince. And what we have here is that Ince was arrested during an intelligence-led exercise by officers of the Professional Standard Bureau when he allegedly solicited and received a sum of money from a victim following a robbery with violence. It took us back, ladies and gentlemen, to Friday the 6th of October, a woman was walking along Charlotte Street, Port of Spain, when she was assaulted and a purse was taken from her. It contained, in fact, 170,000, both in TT and US currency, as well as a passport and other personal documents. Later that day, Police Constable Ince approached the victim at the Nelson Street Housing Development Planning for, in Port of Spain, and she reported to him what happened. He allegedly assured her that by midnight he would get back her stolen items. On Saturday the 7th, that happened on the Friday the 6th of October, on Saturday the 7th of October, the officer again met with the victim and allegedly assured her that he would get back her items, but she had to reward him for his efforts and a further reward when he retrieved the items for her. The woman made a report at the Office of the Professional Standard Bureau on Tuesday and WP, WPC Pikira who was detailed to investigate the matter. On Wednesday, that is after the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, which would have been the 11th of October, the woman met with the officer at Independence Square. In this video, right, on, that is on Wednesday, the 11th of October, they met at Independence Square, Port of Spain, where she allegedly handed it over a $1,000 to the officer. He was immediately arrested by a team of officers from the Professional Standard Bureau, which included ASP Francis, Corporal Joseph, WPC Pikira. The investigation was supervised by Woman Senior Superintendent Martin and Superintendent, Senior Superintendent Montre Shard. For $1,000, you know. Just imagine that, for $1,000. So you saw this video, so now you know it's the up. For $1,000. For $1, I just wanted to find out how this woman coping with this situation here, with this tire that blew out. I will try to call her. That's the wife of the man. See, sometimes you have to know what's going on too, eh? Hi, good afternoon. This is Ian Allen. We are live on national television. Um, first of all, I would like to I would like you to accept my sympathy 
on the passing of your husband it's in such a in such tragic circumstances um yeah. well i don't want to go into details with respect to the investigation because i i am fully aware that they made complaints about the truck being overloaded and whatnot on numerous times and even to the police in grandy we have yeah. i have a, i have voice notes about it in fact i started my investigation i realized that there are senior police officers that was that was asked to investigate why these trucks are being overloaded and they just bypassed it am i right yes that is true that yeah. is true somebody what did um mama I, I mean what was the, uh, the last moment when you, you spoke to your husband mom eight o'clock that morning what he told you i asked him if he reached in work and oh. he said yes he reached manzan yeah he told me that's how the truck was giving trouble i asked him if he called his supervisor uh -huh. he called his supervisor the supervisor told him not how to tie up the wire and go ahead and make a second load but any truck but, but how many times did he complain to the company don't call the name of the company how many times did he i have a, i have a voice note yeah but i don't want to yes, pay the, yes. i i, I um, have a, many times many times ian allen many times the truck was overloaded and the two tires were rubbing to each other the truck was empty that day when he was going for the second load uh-huh but what he was not going for the second load uh-huh and he complained and said that how the, when he talked to me eight o'clock in the morning, the truck was giving trouble. Uh -huh. I oh. called the phone minutes at nine and two. And when I come off the phone, it's after what has happened. But what caused that? But what caused the tire to blow out like that? The say was the the tire was rubbed or something. Yes, exactly. That's exactly because of the load. So the the tire was already um inflated it was looking big or so like swollen that even water touch it that could explode if you pitch, if you touch yes. with a pin it could explode yes ian allen because i know that there was see there, there were people who went to sandy grandy police station and made reports and complaints that they they they're asking that the police get involved in stopping that these trucks are overloaded am i right yes ian allen did your did your husband ever go to the police um did anybody did your police did your husband go to the police station? No. But anyhow, leave it right there. But how many times did he complain about the load on his truck? Many home? times, Ian Allen, many times. Have, look, look, have a lawyer for you. Yeah? Have a lawyer for your lady. Have a lawyer for you. I will okay, give you a lawyer many number. Many times, uh -huh. the week before, the truck was in the yard for four days. Uh -huh. Friday, all the workers and who was working on that side stepped down. He went to work Saturday with Brighton Point and Sunday the column and answer a no. When he get the call to God Monday morning. Why did the workers why did the workers protest on Friday and Saturday? Why? Because one load was supposed to cost six hours and it cost us for three hours a load. Uh. From National to Sandy Grandi. Okay. Okay, go ahead. And the other drivers and I was not ticking against that. Okay. Okay. And when you saw, how you found out that your husband got injured in this and, and died uh, subsequently, how you found I, out? I was like a shock, Ian Allen, real shock. I talked to him at the clock and afterwards this coming up, I get the phone call very late. Huh. It was on. It was on. It was on Facebook before I know anything, Ian Allen. You have all. You all have any kids? No. How long you have been been together? Three years. You all married, aren't they? No. Three years you're together. How 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 old was he, ma'am? Who oh, this? My husband. Yeah. Thirty-eight. And you? Thirty-four. Thirty-four. Address, uh, did the company get in contact with you all? Yes. The funeral went, I trust. No, the funeral put the only put the door on top on them. Huh. After how long? A week. Wow. So you all had a little week and whatnot? 
Yes, Ian Allen. The most I paid my funeral might be Thursday. Is the company assisting you all with the funeral and thing? Yes, Ian Allen. Do not sign no document on behalf of... Do, 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 don't sign any document. If anybody from anybody should ask you anything, don't, don't put your signature to nothing as yet. Huh? Okay, Ian Allen. I will, somebody will call you. I'll, 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 I'll have an attorney to speak to you. Okay. Okay? Yeah. And they will advise you on, you know, what to do from there. But it's okay. really, really sad. You ever imagine before we go that that would have been the last day you see the love of your life, you see your husband? No, Ian Allen. Huh. No. Never imagine that, eh? No, no. Wow. Mom, may God give you strength in a time like this. And I will call you after the show and give you a number to call. Okay, thank you. Hey, boy, you see? You see? I have a voice note about waiting. I waiting. It's not a matter company pay for this and company pay for that. There are reports. There are reports, ladies and gentlemen. And, and um, there are reports where they went to Sandy Grandi police station and they complained, they spoke to seniors, they, they, they spoke to the, I got, I got the names of the people and whatnot. I got the names of the people. I got everything. And about the, the, the truck being overloaded. And what, what happened is that after the tires going like that, the tires like that, after when it's overloaded, drop and swell out like that, so it push out. So that is how that tire was blown out like that. You understand? So I wonder what, I hope he really gets compensated. And it's not a matter, somebody say, well, now there's somebody insuring. People don't care, you know, people don't care. They don't bother people, they don't bother. Nobody cares about a poor man, you know. And that's why I decided. And to the family who lost their son at the water park. Was the little boy that drowned in the water park? At, for, at the water park in Fun Splash? I like the... Yeah, I want his family to contact me. I want his family to contact me. There's things that so happen just so that something must come out of this. Something must come out of this. Something must come out of this. I'd like to speak to the family of this young, of this little child. You see, some of you, what's the, what's the little boy's name? Jamari Jeffrey. Could his family contact me, to send me a number? Sometimes I can't answer my phone for the entire day because I have other things. Sometimes I'm on a crime scene sometimes. I'm up and down, as they say, and that's why sometimes I forward a call, my, my call to sometimes our, our operators and the operators take the messages, but make sure when you're leaving a message, make sure to tell me who you are, and I will call you back, okay? Can't call back everybody, but I said, I realize we are missing calls. Some people don't like to call other lines. They like to get on to Ian Allen on 2944081, but I can't answer every call. But I want the family of Jamari to get in contact with me. I want, yeah, I, 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 want, I want to find out something. And I'm going to make sure and get a lawyer for that girl. Yeah. Yeah. Get a lawyer and see how... Advisor, advisor, advisor. Accidents do happen. Accidents do happen. But based on the circumstances where, where the, the, the former employee, the employee of the company complained about certain things, and she, needs to, she just needs to know her rights. She just needs to know her rights. I ain't saying nobody, I know accidents do happen, we are coming after nobody, but let the woman speak to somebody. Sometimes when people go through things, that, because I have seen cases in the past when accidents happen and people lose their hand and their foot and they, they die, companies official will go and you sign a paper quietly. The way going on, but you get the 20,000 and you sign a paper and that is a party done there, you know. Yeah, you have to be careful as well. these people have, you know, they might know their rights, they might know what is the possibility that, that, that something could go in the other a pr proper direction because you need to find out, you know, what's going on with the woman, how she could, if that, that is the sole breadwinner, all kind of thing. You understand? Somebody must stand up for people in this country because nobody is standing. Everybody, let me tell you something, everybody, everybody business in this place fixing you know? her. Everybody, you know, from captain to cook, from government to government to everybody, you know. To everybody, look, somebody was just, you know, t today I was chatting with somebody, we were just talking and, you know, and he was telling me, he said, that, Ian, you know, PNM has been around for 50 something years. There are two changes of administration that, that, did, that did extremely well. You had, Cam you had, you had the UNC under Basri Pandey and you had UNC under, under Kamala Prasad Bissessa. 
and compare to what these two administrations, what, what these two former prime ministers did to better this country. Compare it to a, con to, to a, a party that has been in government for 50 something years. And you know, they treat you so bad too. Yeah? It's like, I was, you know, do you know somebody went to pay a bill in TN Tech? And because this person had a particular slippers on their foot, you know, they tell the woman she can't come inside. She can't come inside. I, if I send up a picture, I tell her, watch me. They, you know, they, 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 they play this so great, but you're nothing, nothing, you know. We're nothing, nothing, you know. We're nothing, nothing, you know. And nothing, 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 you know. Nothing, you know. You should go in the embassy. Have you, have you, some of you have ever been inside the American embassy? Yeah, when you sit down there, you see people coming in. I, I, I on the, I am on the other side, yeah. Not on this side. I was on the other side, and I'm just looking and seeing people coming with short pants, tennis shorts, sleeveless, girls in, in shorts, maybe a, a you know, a, a slippers, billabong short pants, surfing t-shirts, quicksilver, whatever, and they just come in stamp the passport and they go out. We are so head honcho and so fake. We deny persons who come in to pay a bill in Tiantec. And sometimes they don't know and, and even passport office doing that. Hey, let me tell you something. I tell you, watch me. They like to treat us like dog, but I hate it. And that's why every step I get, I'll ride up the chest. I'll ride it up. I'll ride it up. Yeah. I should send you a picture before we go. Before we go, I'll send you this picture. The girl sent me her foot. Her foot, her toes look nice. Hello, 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 the pictures. Yeah, boy, like I had this thing, boy. I did it, you know. I don't know where I put it. I did girl toes. I took a picture of it. No, I took the picture. I took the picture of her foot. Yeah, I can remember that. And it's craziness. It's craziness. You telling me you can't go and pay a bill. You don't know where I come from. I hire in car to come down here. And because I have a slippers on my foot, why are you wearing an armless? I can't get to go in a government office. Why do we treat our citizens like that? Why, 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 why? Who bring that law? You, know, you must be in a, a, a suit. You have your car. You have your car outside park up in, in, in government car park, in the ministries. You are head on show in air condition. I come down here in the hot sun. You know how I reach down here. You are, and you tell me I can't get to go and see what I pass, but because I wear that kind of funny jersey. What the hell is this? Once you are a citizen of this country, and you have a, 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 once, a, once you are a citizen of this country, come just as you are. Come just as you are. Who created these laws? Who created these laws to oppress people? There is oppression. Change your slippers. Go back home. Don't come in here. You reach in town and you have them. You and if I have a hundred dollars and I want to buy something, I have to go and look for a top for sixty dollars just to put over my clothes. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Nobody said to come in any place with a bikini or a tongues or something showing. Nobody said that. But you can't be treating people like that. Every step you make in this country, they try to oppress you. Every step. Are you looking at this girl toes what day it was? She had one of nice little Michael called slippers. Her toes well done. She going to pay her bill and they say, see that open toe, you can't come in here. Who the boy I that cost them stink? There is a cost yeah, I that cost them stink. Stink. I tell I will do it. And who taped me, tape me. That is my personality. I do business or not. No, I don't, you don't know me, I don't know business, you know. I'm not taking no level of oppression. Nobody is coming to oppress me, boy. Nobody is treating me differently here. Yeah. I'm telling you, I'm not intimidated by, by Caucasian people. and I, I have read different kind of fellas, you know. I'm not intimidated in a partner. You telling me what? You can't come in with a slippers. But I don't get any picture to hurt them, my boy. I don't get any picture, boy. You understand? But look how things is really happen. You look at the girl with the truck. So you see your husband sitting down next to you. Your child, all you try to live nice and get up in the morning, make, make a little sandwich and thing and put it and kiss the child. Watch. Bye-bye, papa. Bye-bye, mama. Go to school. Take a little thing. Take a little, uh, as Christians, we take a little anointed oil. 
Make a sign of the cross, you go there, jump out. It's are evil, it's are bad, it's are good. It's are evil, it's have evil. When road carnage, you must watch it. One person dead in south, in, in Port of Spain, two in south. I'm telling you, when, when people are drunk, it's three drunk for the weekend. It's a spirit, it's a it's energy. So you have to break that energy. If you are Muslim, well, you wear, um, I wake where we are, tib, um, 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 uh, what do you call it, boy? Um, a tabich or something, you know, you, something. I, I don't know. I, I just believe in it. I, you know, some kind of presence. I might wear women's string, boy. Oh, -ho. <laughs> yeah, we have a little string. We put them on and thing. A scarlet cord because, yeah, a lot of people wear it all over the world. We believe in that. We I believe in that, but just to make you remember that, say a prayer. Say a prayer, and that's why you don't know what could happen. You don't know if this could be the last day of seeing your husband. You don't know if, what, what could go on, what, what, what. Or let's try to live nice. I'm going to put your foot for you and, and put it up. Just take a fast break. October is here with PSL deals priced so low all month long. Get the Telepasta Cuts, 4 for $19.95. Creamy Ice Cream, 1 gallon, 2 for $1.19.95. Maggie Soup It Up, 4 for $19.95. Santa Rosa Vienna Sausage, 4 for $19.95. Swiss Mambo Sauce, 2 for $29.95. Turbo Benny, 2 for $24.95. Stella Rosa Wine, 750 ml, only $99.95. Caribbean Mimosa and Group was $86.95, now $73.95. Fair Toilet Paper, 6 pack, 2 for $19.95. Happy Mac and Cheese, 3 for $19.95. It's Breast Cancer Month. Early detection is the best solution. Secure your chances to win one of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. Are you embarrassed by excessive hair loss, itchy flaky scalp, receding hairline, teenage and adult cystic acne, open pores, old scar marks, puffy dark eye circles, eight spots, black lips, psoriasis, eczema or dermatitis? Do you want to get rid of deep lines and wrinkles, stretch marks, cellulite and discoloration around the neck, arms and between the legs? For a professional consultation and a microscopic analysis with Ms. Bagan, who has over 30 years of experience, call 673-7418 now. Go live with Ian Allen and let the world take notice of your business. Be seen by millions on all our platforms, Facebook, YouTube, our iOS and Android applications, and website, ianallen.org. Our network showcases you to viewers locally, regionally, and internationally. You'll be seen by millions. Just imagine, our YouTube platform for 2022 has gained over 16 million views. In 2023 so far, we've already crossed millions and counting. Our iOS and Android downloads have surpassed the hundred thousands. Since 2016 to present, over 47 million people have viewed our videos. That is proof of our reach worldwide. No other network can outdo our proven performance. No one can beat us. Your live will stay on all our platforms indefinitely. You'll even own the rights to the production. Let Ian Allen transform your business and take it to a place you never thought possible. Call us today to book your spot. The millions are waiting. It's Bright Ideas Festival of Discount Sale. Illuminate your home with up to 75% off selected items. Enjoy unbeatable deals. 10 to 30% off ornaments. 30% off selected linens and curtains. 25 to 50% off selected flowers, 25% of lamps, clocks, and mirrors, 25% off as seen on TV items, 50% off paintings, 30% off selected bakeware, dinner sets, and kitchenware, 25 to 50% off religious ornaments, 75% off lights and chandeliers. But hurry, the Festival of Discount Sale is here for a limited time only. Bright Ideas, located at Point Fortin, Princess Town, Rio Claro, Maribel, Gulf City Mall, and coming soon to Curep. Bright Ideas, bringing happiness home. Thank you, friends and avid viewers, as you continue to support Crime Watch via our PayPal and FCB account. Support Crime Watch with a minimum donation of $5 from anywhere in the world. Donate via our PayPal, oneian.allen at gmail.com, or wire transfer to FCB account 1898739 with the SWIFT code. Be a part of the movement. Santana boy, you can pick me up? Yeah, where you? By racetrack wheels. Boy, I went inside and I lose my mind. It's the best in brand name rims and high performance tires for so. They have special, so I make my name. Ha ha ha! Bonarine, you don't have a car? 
Patsy gon' kill me. Racetrack wheels. Number 330 Eastern Main Road, Aruka. Number 64 Southern Main Road, Chase Village. And number 82 Bethlehem Road, Tobago. Is the sun or rain costing you constant repairs? South Coast Awnings has your solution. We provide prompt, efficient service at unbeatable prices. Roofing and gate fabrication also available. Call us today for a free professional consultation. At South Coast Awnings, we've got you covered. Celebrate this Diwali in elegance at Rhythms of India. Get a wide range of ethnic clothing at amazing prices. Outfits for adults, children, jewelry and more. We are open daily 11am to 7pm. Located in Grand Bazaar and South Haven Mall daily. Is your business or company not making money? That's because no one knows about you. Advertise on Prime Watch, the number one show and watch your business transform. Call us at 294-4081-225-4327 or 225-3250. Thinking of giving your home that modern finish? Then visit ABC Bar Doors and Windows. We are the largest supplier of hardwood finishing goods. Get kitchen and pool tiles, faucets, doors, windows, sinks and so much more. Come in or give us a call. ABC Bar Doors and Windows, always a better choice. The countdown is on for the greatest carnival weekend in the world. It's time for Tobago Carnival. Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th. Come witness the release of the revelry and the ritual of the road in Tobago. This, this is our we carnival. carnival. This is our we carnival. It's time for Tobago Carnival. Ready yourself for the ritual of the road. Log on to welcometobago.com for more details. Tobago Carnival. Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th. Somebody said that they saw somebody in El Socorro with a crime watch t-shirt. Yeah. Yes, a crime. No, a jersey. A jersey. Yeah, a jersey. Yeah. Watch this. I want to know how that man get a jersey. Just enlarging it, yeah? There's a shirt. Yeah, can I enlarge it for me, please? In El Socorro. That is not, that is not, that is in El Socorro. I wonder who is the guy wearing that shirt. That's a, that's a serious because our car was allegedly stolen. Yeah, because something is not right. We got some videos and whatnot, and the car, the car, our car was allegedly, I just say it was allegedly stolen. I got it back the same day, and that's what I tell you sometimes. Don't, 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 don't come wrong me, don't come wrong me. I just like, and then this, this is not a jersey. This is a shirt. Look at it. Could we, uh, uh, is, is it up? A little, a little wider, please. We need to cut it all out, just enlarge it, right? Put it up. Yeah, and this, well, this was seen somewhere in El Socorro. We don't know who is this guy with this shirt, but there are a couple of people who don't work for us anymore. We will be, like from next week, putting up disclaimers that when you see these speaker people like you know they, they want to make sure that we have our persons with you now with ids and whatnot and if you're not sure give me a call we know who we sending out we order new shirts you know change the color because it's a very serious thing it's a very this is a very very serious thing somebody in el socorro wearing this shirt you understand and you know today i found out i was at bolos in barakpur Bolos is the guy who have the rims and whatnot, and so Bolos rims and you know they were supposed to send me the photo, but I'm not seeing it. I was at Bolos today, and somebody was telling me that not somebody was just telling me that I have sent so much money for you. I said for me how? Because that's the first time I'm meeting him, I think. But somebody else was saying that during the flood, persons will go to business people and say Ian Allen says send two thousand, three thousand. And it's had people that we fired for those things. And don't give any money. If I need money, I know who to call. Believe me, I know who to call. 
I have, I have my friends that I could call. But there are people who go out there and solicit money and say, yeah, I remember we had, we had a worker, a particular worker, who used to tell people that, here what, I will try to get the picture on TV for you, $6,000, $7,000, and go grambers and collect it, but they fire them. Yeah, boy, sometimes you have workers, that will tell you, you know. And um, we heard about a, another guy during flood, the guy sent cases of water for me, hampers, and we never got nothing from this, that company, a particular company, and I said, serious, I don't know, because we have a list of everything. You understand? I don't really get involved with it, but that part I will go go out there and distribute, but wow, something is just unbelievable. And you have to be careful, people who go in around with paper and saying that crime watch are trying to solicit money for crime watch. And that's why people who are not working with us, we will start to put up their photos. No way to discredit them, but just I put a disclaimer that they do not work for us. My name is very important. Just remember that. And this is the slippers that this girl had on, and she never, she never got, in contact, got the opportunity to go into Tiantech to pay a bill. She was denied on the CG paying a bill at Tiantech because of the slippers that opened. Yeah, take, just, just, yeah. just imagine that. Open up the lines. Just imagine that. Look how they were pressing people. Somebody went to the port to get a barrel, to, to get a barrel. And because he had on a slippers, a, a slippers, they didn't deny him. Who did that? Somebody need to take them to court. Somebody need to say, here, what's going on? You can't treat me like that. You cannot treat me like that. Somebody need to do that. Somebody, some, some lawyer out there need to represent somebody who experienced that and teach, and teach them a lesson. You can't deny people because of that. You don't know how people come down here. You don't know if they can taxi. You don't know if they're the last slippers they can afford. You cannot do that. You just cannot do that. Open up the lines. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Hi, caller. Hello. Yes, good evening. Hi, Mr. Allen. How you doing? Good. It's Captain Ron talking to you. Listen, you know, it's strange that you're saying this thing because Florida is a, is a sun state, just like Trinidad is a sun state. Uh. So people shouldn't be denying people entrance. Like, let me a slip on your feet. Come on, man. That's craziness. Trinidad and Tobago is a sun state. Yeah, and thank you. And you can't go with an armless. Women who wear like an armless, yes. they can't enter the building. A sleeveless, they can't yeah, enter the building. That, 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 that's suppressing people, man. That's people oppressing people. Work, yeah. That's craziness. But that's what you yeah. voted for. And government come and government yeah. go and nobody interferes with yeah. it. That's what tell everybody makes. Come back to everybody business fixing this country. You know? Everybody business fixing this country. You know? I don't like them kind of thing. You know? One day I went in some little club and I watched another how they're talking to the girl, the, the nice little, the little African girl. Three of them, they serve they, they serve us. And I ain't wanna bring no race, but you can't do that, you can't do that, you can't talk down to people. Wait, 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 what is you don't hear what I say over? But I nearly tell them, watch me, go from here. Go from here. It's like because you know you're watching a girl serving, or she's a, you know. Or some kind of thing. You don't look down at people. I don't we, I don't know people getting like this in this country, boy. Big time things, boy. Just big time. You see a girl cashing, she's nobody. You somebody. You nobody. Some people, I see people driving Benz and, and Range Rover and thing. And when they turn in the, turn in the steering and watching you in that kind of way. Because you need something smaller, you know. A car that, that, that can suit your pocket. But what the hell was with them? The hell was with them? I grind on my glass. I tell you what to tell you. That's your business. Don't nobody look down at you out there. At all, don't, don't, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. you telling me you denying somebody to go and pay a bill because of, of their slippers? Like that? Open up the lines. I call her. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. Good afternoon. This is total oppression. We don't go in through hell in this country under this government. I am not seeing nothing wrong with that young lady's feet. And she has nice toes. A decent shoe slippers whatever her toes well done what the hell that individual in tian tech who have a problem with that then they should pay her bill yeah and how did you and but you, don't you know what leave do? that like that you know what they she do? need I, to shaft them she need to stand up you see when people pour in this country mr allen yeah they tend to jockey back here you understand ah. take advantage <laughs> of you the woman come to pay her bill, even she come in bare feet. 
she came to pay her bloody bill. And Thank all you. you need to respect that because it's her bill paying, paying all your salary sitting down there scratching. Yeah, they're doing that. You understand? Thanks again. So she need to let them have some respect for her. And if and I tell you something, them Thank a you lawyer again. letter in their behind. Thank you. And let them pay her bill because it's her bill money paying the salary for them to feed the, the blinking family and them all. They are totally pissed. Thank you again. This. Thank you. This could never be. Thank you again. And I'll tell you this. They had a stand. I'll, I'll call her just now. I'll call her. A nice deal. And they had a stand by the security booth and they bring the paper outside by the security booth and make us sign it. Not knowing the person. Look how people don't know people, eh? That girl, that same girl with that, 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 that foot there, that girl could have hired, that girl, everybody working in that building, that girl could hire, could hire them. Everybody in that building to work for. If the girl is my friend, and I, I can't tell you who's the girl. But what that was by her. And in fact, the same day, I bounced her up. We met. And I took a pit here. And she was telling me about it. She said, Ian, you won't believe what happened. And she was telling me about it. And that same girl could have hired that, everybody there and paid them a salary for two years. That same girl. You, you can't tell me, you, you can't tell me I gone in the port to get clear barrel. I wait and hold in the hot sun. The place hot. I come up with, with, a, with, with a little slippers on my foot. Me I talk about a rubber slippers. One of them leather. Maybe, um, Clark slippers or, or a, a Louis Vuitton slippers or something or, you know? And when I reach you, you tell me, no, nah, no, nah, you can't come and come to the bar, go up the road. That way you have? That your oppression, that your oppression, that your oppression. How could people, how could, I, how could people who come for a visa by the American embassy and they all, they're all Americans because I'm seeing from where I am standing, they had, they're taking out a passport the American passport, and maybe they, they, they're visiting or just come for a renewal or some, something, some just get a passport, and they stamp it like that, they go through documents, and they in tennis shorts, sleeveless, the girls in sleeveless, nice jeans, short pants, sneak um, slippers, and it's like, nobody, I know, I know nobody treating them differently, but we don't here, yeah? I tell you what, you know what the problem is? We are more be money but champagne taste. That's what going on. We like to rank. That's what, that is why people have to get on here. We like to rank. Hi, caller. Good evening. Hello, Ian Allen. Yeah. Hey, have you seen my um I get this full mission with um with the bacala with the um with the rubber shed, wherever people making all complain of any neighbor here. Uh I don't know. Uh, I said this position here. Thank you. I don't know what he's saying. I really don't know. Let's take a break. When you come back, I'll tell you. Brown Tech Limited is pleased to announce our Brand Diwali sale. Buy three Bridgestone or five stone tires and get the fourth tire free. Visit us at number 10 Londonville Main Road, Shub Warners. Call 672-8575. Shub Diwali from the Brown Tech family. Is Radical Trading, you know that? And them have everything to cover anything. Radical Trading have the best fabric designs for your upholstery needs, yeah. So furniture, car, boat, tent, even material for school bags. This one looks really nice on my couch, boy. They even making pillow too. Sprang. Oui. Oh, shucks, I forget my money. Serious? They could pay for it for me. Me and my big mouth boy, I want a Radica get thing to cover mouth yet. Radica trading for locations nationwide. This Diwali, bring your home like never before. Shop at Facades Deep Food King and Bright Ideas for a chance to be one of nine lucky winners in our Bling Your Home promotion. Transform your home with a dazzling $20,000 home makeover Bling Bundle. That's a $10,000 Bright Ideas.
a shopping spree and another ten thousand dollars in cash wow. to use however you dream yes you've heard it right that's a whopping one hundred and eighty thousand dollars in total cash and prizes up for grabs for every two hundred dollars you spend at any Posad's the food king supermarket or bright idea stores entitles you to an entry form hold on the festivities don't end there the crowd favorite wheel of winning is rolling back into Posad's the food king every weekend just spend six hundred dollars or more for a golden opportunity to spin and win fantastic prizes instantly remember every spin is a win follow our wheel of winnings schedule on Posad's the food king's facebook page this promotion is nlcb approved and november 13th with the grand draw on november 15th the countdown is on for the greatest carnival weekend in the world it's time for tobago carnival friday october 27th to sunday 29th come witness the release of the revelry and the ritual of the road in tobago this, this is our we carnival. carnival this is our we carnival it's time for tobago carnival ready yourself for the ritual of the road Long for more details, Tobago Carnival, Friday, October 27th to Sunday 29th. Farbinger Expo is back, the fashion house of Trinidad. Farbinger Expo, located opposite Medford Gas Station in Chagonas, will be reopening on Saturday, October 7th. It's bigger and better. Getting married or attending a wedding, need temple wear or casual outfits? Then you need to check us out. Find something for every occasion. We've added two new boots for children wear. Get matching jewelry, footwear and accessories. Your one-stop shop. We've got a wide range of furniture available. Need to pick up lunch or dinner? Then check out our multi-cuisine food court. We've got the Fabinia Arcade and Meraki Spa, a complete family outing at Fabinia Expo, opposite Medford Gas Station, Shogunas, from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. daily. We're open on weekends and public holidays. When NASA set out to explore the reaches beyond our world, they needed a material that would hold up to the demands of the unknown. Flexible titanium, engineered from the same alloy used for missile heat shields, Flexon set the new standard in durable eyewear. Flexible titanium eyewear. Available at Neo Eyewear, 91D Main Road, Suite 1, Montrose Mall, Chagonas, 672-5052 or 3903196. This Diwali, bring your home like never before. Shop at Passage Deep Food King and Bright Ideas for a chance to be one of nine lucky winners in our Bling Your Home promotion. Transform your home with a dazzling $20,000 home makeover Bling Bundle. That's a $10,000 Bright Ideas shopping spree and another $10,000 in cash wow. to use however you dream. Yes, you've heard it right. That's a whopping $180,000 in total cash and prizes up for grabs. For every $200 you spend at any Passage Deep Food King supermarket or Bright Ideas, stores entitles you to an entry form hold on the festivities don't end there the crowd favorite wheel of winning is rolling back into Passage the food king every weekend just spend six hundred dollars or more for a golden opportunity to spin and win fantastic prizes instantly remember every spin is a win follow our wheel of winnings schedule on Passage the food king's facebook page this promotion is nlcb approved ends november 13th with a grand draw on november 15th Somebody said that um, a lot of fans about the NIS building, that Shogunas only have two persons take and give information and one cashier. All right, so there's somebody just complaining that they need to strengthen their staff at the Shogunas NIS office. Two persons take get, and give information, one cashier, that's very poor. But then we send people there, but I, 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 I don't think so. I, I don't know how true that is, but, you know, I know the NIS office in Shogunas, they try their best. Right? Somebody said you cannot wear, you cannot wear hijab or a sindur if you go for passports. I don't know what that one, but that is craziness. That is really, really craziness. Craziness, what is going on? Um, no, I don't think that is true. 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 Um, are you aware that two children were found abandoned? Do we have that? Hello? We have a mic to the back. Could anybody just... Right. 
We, are, we have a case. What um, page, please? Okay, what page, please? Take the audio on this. Take the audio on this. Yeah, go ahead. Um, this is where the, the area where the children was found abandoned. The two children. Where is, tell the audio, please. Where, right, a couple has been investigated after officers reported found their two toddlers naked and abandoned in a rat and cockroach infested home in Derby on Monday around 7.30. PC French and PC Hanaway were on pat mobile patrol along Jordan Trace, Red Hill, Derby, where they observed an infant who was naked with a pampas in his hand playing on the roadway. Upon seeing the officers, the child then ran into a nearby house that was partially dilapidated. The officer then attempted to gain the attention of another adult by calling out to them, using the vehicle horn and, and, and swivel lights, but to no avail. This happened half past seven. This is the house where the two children were found abandoned. Yep. Officer later heard a child crying inside the, house, the home and entered where they discovered the two toddlers, approximately three and, a, and two years old, alone in one of the bedrooms that was dirty and had rats feces with cockroaches running around the children and that's why i tell you, you now all these things happen all these and um, all these things happen and where are the social services where 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 the body but, but they know how to make you stop getting your food card they know how to make you just come and they watch your car they watch your house and say nothing for you but do you think that they really go around the children do you think what 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 information we have to go and look at our nation's children and protect them you think this could happen in, in, in it could happen away but Make sure the, 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 the agencies don't, don't, don't find out. This is terrible. And, and that reminds me of the last case where, where the four was murdered in um, Heights of Aripo when we went down there. This is where the, 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 the two kids were, were, were discovered. Look at this place. Look at this place. Look at this place, ladies and gentlemen. This is the house where they were discovered. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. Go ahead. Hello? Yeah, go ahead. Good afternoon, Mr. Allen. Good afternoon. I want to say congratulations for a wonderful and informative program. Thank you. I, too, want to highlight something what happened to me yesterday. Yesterday, I went by Rattan's store on Frederick Street. The one up of Frederick Street, almost by the Woodford Square. Oh. And I had a little visor because I have a little problem with my eyes. I took a surgery and I had to wear a little visor to, to um, kill the glenna. And as I walk inside and I look in, a security guard came by and he told me, he said, listen, you have to take off that hat from on your head. Just like that, you know. Wow. So I tell him, I say, why? I said, listen, I'm a 73-year-old woman. Why I have to take off that hat? I can't leave this store and push it under my cap. And would you believe I did lose it? I cursed them in the store and I walk out. Miss Lady? But I said, Auntie, uh -huh. Auntie, where just on TV? Don't say it back, but you already said on TV. Hello. Where you say Grandpa the the, the, the hat, Miss uh, Auntie? Don't, don't say that. I can't keep the store and put it under my cap. These people don't understand. These people don't understand that children are watching. You know, I can't understand, right? And this is serious talk. Yeah, you look on social media and you see so... No, I couldn't understand what she said. I thought she said cap because remember, there, there's a... So I must apologize. We must apologize. We must apologize to viewers. Okay? I don't think she said that. Did she, is that what she meant? She didn't say the next word, right? I think she she said hmm. no, but I I just want I wanted to be sure. Like I can't believe that. And no, no, you can't do that on TV. You can't do that. You can't do that. Put the hat which part of God do me that now. This how was it called God? It's cap. She said. She said cap. C A P. Oh, man, I can't take no right now in my head now. Zero. Oh God. Jesus Christ. Oh, Auntie, yeah. 
You know, but you know, I notice, and I tell you this, times really change, you know. It are people, I see people, mother and grandmother, and they'll be cussing on social media and making video on F, F away and this one, holly or so and so and thing. You know, I never, never, never heard my grandmother curse. Never. I wonder if I, I, wonder if I hear my mother curse something. I don't think I ever hear my mother curse. I don't think so. Yeah, yeah, she goes already. I think so, I think so. But they hear yeah, me curse already. And she's like, what? Where you say that? Where you say that? Nah, you gotta go from this house. <laughs> yeah. But me and my sister them back and all in each other. But remember, we, I already moved out, so you know, something happened. Yeah, yeah, fuck me. But everybody have their, you know, siblings have their rivalry, but nevertheless, I thought, no, I thought the woman had said something else. You know, good, I get to say, you know, ladies and gentlemen, they went by Shanti Bar, Shanti's Bar, in up the road, so, up the road in St. Thomas Village, and they break in the bar. We have a little video when we come back. And I, I, today, I want to tell you, and I'm telling Shanti this, I did give the police information on who did it. I give them the information, ASP Dipchan. Let's take a fast break. What once was glass is now plastic. You get all the benefits of glass without the drawbacks. And only Gable X packaging will get you there. Plastic application works with all the existing capping methods, so the change is simple and seamless. You get visual clarity without the fragility, as well as less scuffing, scratching, and label tearing. We do PET. PET brings many advantages. You get durability and rigidity. It's more economical, durable, recyclable, and beautiful. Our purpose is to help you profit from what's inside the package. And the outside profits the plant. Get ahead of the competition today. Contact Gable X Packaging Limited. October is here with PSL deals priced so low all month long. Get Brunswick Tuna Flakes 3 for $19.95. Rainbow Corn Beef was $19.95, now $16.95. Eve Barbecue Sauce 2 for $24.95. Waller Farms Vinegar 3 for $19.95. Chicken Neck 3 pounds for $19.95. Erin Farm Chicken Salami 2 for $19.95. Boneless Chicken Breast $19.95 per pound. Mabel's Mayonnaise 2 for $24.95. Gatorade 3 for $24.95. It's Breast Cancer Month. Early detection is the best solution. Secure your chances to win one of 10 mammograms with the purchase of pink label products from featured brands. Three convenient locations, one in Rio Claro and two in Mayaro. SNS Passat, loyal to local. At Army Hardware and Superstore Company Limited, we make hardware shopping a lot easier and affordable. We have everything from foundation to finish. New wave or are using circular deck and pan, pre-painted PVBF, BRC grade 1 red blocks, equal cement, corrugated or smooth steel and so much more. Approved by the Trinidad and Tobago Bureau of Standards. Come in to any of our two locations, Derek Roches Village or Royal Road Aruka. Give us a call at 671-3001 or 692-3629 or WhatsApp 384-2530 for quotations. We are professionals in general construction, paving, asphalt services and preparation of residential and commercial developments. At Liqua Construction Services Limited, our team of professionals has the knowledge, experience and resources to make your projects run smoothly, on time, on budget. We supply red sand, gravel, oil sand and more. Equipment rental available. 20-ton excavators, mini excavators, porter cool, bulldozers, concrete pumps and so much more. Contact us today for a free site visit and quote. First five orders will receive a gift voucher from Raquel Muda or a Robert Graham polo shirt. We listen to the video, we listen, we listen to the video. No, it's not that. I can take the entire store and put it under my cap. Cap. Auntie, on the phone there? 
Yes. Yeah, girl. Hi, <laughs> Auntie, girl. You better all... feel a little foul because me and my husband so long and we'll take me no, this one. It's yeah. so like bad for the other word. Yeah. I wouldn't dare do that on your program, sweetie. No, I know that, I know that, I know that, Auntie. You know, uh, this, the, the, the guns that I'm watching, everybody's been watching, so make a mistake. Make a mistake. You understand? But no, I, 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 and I, I have what most respect. I wouldn't even repeat anything. I, if, if it's that if to you, I would not do that. I have respect, you know. But where it really happened? Let me hear where this happened. Tell me. There's a ratans when you're going up on Frederick Street. After you cross Queen Street and you're walking right. up the road. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I and my sister were doing a little shopping and we said, let us go in ratans because I hear that some nice little outfit and let yeah. me go and check it out and then. So as we walk inside, I have on the little visor, black visor. And um, the guard come up and he say, um, excuse me, ma'am, you have to take off that cap from on your head. So I asked him why. He said, um, you have to answer me why, you know. You have to ask me why. Take it off. You can't take, if you can't take it off, you'll have to leave the store. And with that, I got a little disturbed and I did say some obscenities to him. Yes, I did. And I came out of the store. Okay, I'll ask somebody. I will get in contact with, with Mr. Rattans. Um, somebody will take your number off the auntie. You'll be good. All right, <laughs> somebody will take your number. Auntie, you make my laugh. Yes. Ooh. Yeah, but then again, remember, there is a policy. You know, people are scared. People are scared when people wearing masks. They should ban masks from coming and the, and, and, and hoodies and caps. But some people see like an elderly come in and, you know, she's an elderly. She's me something and she's there. She has a little visor or a little cap. So they have to be courteous. And what we lack in this country is customer service. Sometimes you order food, you go by a restaurant, and somebody say, hey, you could tell me here? Huh? Huh, we are this. Now you have, to, you have to be mad. You have to be mad. Something wrong with you. Something wrong. I, I blow the manager in KFC already for that in Chugwana's. Yeah, don't talk to me. And No, no, it was Pizza Hut in Chugwana's. It have a man on the phone, he says, um, there's Ian Allen, and all that is on the pizza. Mr. Lenny, who are you talking to? Who are you talking to? And it doesn't matter, Ian Allen, whoever, you can't speak to a customer like that. And I had to put them in the place, I had to put them in the place. Because we had some workers, and as we work late, we wanted some pizzas for the staff. You know, we're running through videos and whatnot. Graphic artists and everybody here. Our thing, and we ordered it, and something has, and it was like terrible. Something and I just called back and said, well, what is this? And you know, I'm here rank on nobody, you know. And some lady going and they and go, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, 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 what happened? They don't know how to speak, boy. You just don't know how to speak. They don't, and that's what we lack all over. Something you go to KFC and I, and I sorry to tell you, my GFX prestige and all they're making money. You should see the kind of money they're making for the quarterly eight hundred something something million. Let me just send your staff on a um uh a retreat, a, a customer retreat, a retreat. Not even high. Hey, like, when, at least people just go away, boy, when you go high. Like, you know, just by Wendy's, let's say Wendy's. Hi, welcome to Wendy's. What are you having? Yeah, yeah, okay, we don't have this. You want to have this right now? We don't have this? I can remember, years ago, this on, is on 34th Street, boy. It's at this place called Bagman, across the road. Not a Wendy's, right next to Bagman. Many years ago in New York, in Manhattan. That's 34th Street. 34th Street. Long line. If you see line, but watch me. When I tell you organize, because remember that crunch time, lunch time. So I stand up, boy. I know walk out of b and I call, I cross here, I come in from b and with bag in my hand. But I say, wait, I can take a little Wendy's by the time, you know, because them days me already watching my size of bubble ups. You know, me I care. So I say, but wait now, where the jail is this, boy? I don't let, but watch that. Watch me, people come out. Two girls with that, I think so. What are you having? Hi, welcome to Wendy's. What are you having? Yeah, a burger. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, you're gonna pay in front and watch me as they go. The thing ready. And what if it's a line moving? I like way boy. But suddenly you go to the drive, choose like KFC and thing. And they have no way in speaking to people. Where you want? We have this. We don't have this. But what the hell, boy? And it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It is embarrassing. It is embarrassing to speak to people. You're giving people something. It's no ketchup. It's no straw. We don't have mustard and pepper. But you wouldn't go in tongue and do that. You wouldn't go in tongue and do that. You wouldn't go in Marvel and do that. Or you wouldn't go up there. Or you come and give us the, 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 
the crumbs, the crumbs from the table there, but we don't take that. We don't take that. Because, brother man, when we come up in town, we spending money. And that is why when I go in a restaurant, nobody here can, not because I am Ian Allen, no partner. If I come with my friends and them, you treat my friends, you come, we, we spending money. You understand? Not like, what you want? We do all this. It's been nice. Hi, welcome to KFC. How are you today? Hi, good afternoon. Yeah, what do, you, what do you have? And don't come and tell me she might be having a rough day. Stay home. Stay home. Don't make your, and I always learn that, don't make your problem my problem. You, you, you answer an important phone and say like Pizza Hut, KFC. Oh God, speak, be nice, naturally drive you. Welcome to KFC. How are you today? What do you, what are you having? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let me hear you, order. Good afternoon. It's that a Sunday. Some I went to Kuva. Coming down from south. Stopped to buy KFC. I think I was something. Yeah. How can I help you? Where's your order? Who are you talking to? I drive up. I say, good afternoon, ma'am. You say, good afternoon. How are you today? Welcome to KFC. That is how you speak to people. You working hard for your money. You, you, you come here to talk down at me. You have to be mad. We have to change cultures. have to change in this place. You know? It has to change. People have to respect for people out here. When you go to a servant, and that's what I tell you, you know. That's what I tell you today. People can determine. That's what I tell somebody. You say, I don't get no tip. Change your attitude and you will see. You know what places I go? I'll leave a hundred or two hundred. Oh, that's not. No problem. Or oh, you're leaving. Hey, look at a hundred. You take a hundred, you take a hundred, you take a hundred, you take a hundred. What do you do that for? Because they treated me nicely. They were nice to me. They were nice to my table. That's nice. Hi, Mr. Hi, what are you having today? Now, some, some, and, and not, some of you go to the people and, you, and you, you meet them and they already pay the bill and they say, that way, just nice boy. I say, yeah. Yeah, we don't tip already. That's nice. Your tip, your attitude could determine your tip. I can never forget, and this is serious talk, yeah? I went to Price Mart. What year this boy got married from Pierre Road? You know who? Was 2014 or 15? Right. Listen to me, yeah? Listen to me. And I went there, and as friends, all, all of us came together, we're going to buy a nice push fridge. Those, those fridge, the, the nice expensive fridge. Oh God, they're funny. Fridge now with the Spence and thing. I use the and thing. Oh God, when you're poor, you just say push fridge now. Oh God, oh God. When you come from nothing and you're, okay, we well, might have all that and, and, and nice freezers now and thing, but you remember when you're nothing, you know? Boy, and a girl come out. Listen to me, eh? I say, I like this refrigerator, boy. So we say, much over 14,000, boy. So partner said, well, I can put up so. I said, well, I can put up this. I put in up this. He said, he put in up this. What four of us went there? I said, well, we said we can split it and give them one good thing now. And there are two partners called me and said, well, we can put up this. All of us can put up and we can buy something nice for the, for the couple. All right. But some little thing I said, but I find the door look like a small here, boy. And then it had a girl walk out. Hi, good afternoon. You all getting through? She said, no. I said, we wanted to get this. And I find she was very interested. Like, you know, okay. And she went back. Let me make a call. The girl said, let me make a call and see if we have this. We have it in another branch, you know. What, what exactly you're looking for. But I was fine. Let me see if we can get this for you. So you don't like this part here? So I'm watching this girl. I say, but the girl, impre the girl impressive, yeah? So this, is everybody asked me, you watching the girl so far? I said, she's impressive. I said, she's impressive. I like that style. I like how she interested with the customers and that. I say, excuse me. Where you working? You, you, um, you working here? I see what you're working by. I do so. I'll get a job anytime. However you're working for, I'll double that. And I had that girl, you know. And that girl stayed here for, she worked with me for one, two, three, four, more than five years. And then she moved on because she finished her masters, whatever, blah, 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 and she moved on. And that is how something you see people and they're just impressed. Not, not, not all the time is qualifications, you know. It's how you deal with people. How you deal with people. 
And so then you might ask, but how come I not making money? That's why sometimes you go by SNS facade. And it's a serious thing. When, it, when you go there, the customers have to, the person, the, the CSR and them, they have a way they have to treat you. You go by any hardware, you go by anybody, they have a way they have to treat you. And if you don't treat you soon, you tell cost and give on, this one go cost and give on, Naipaul go cost and give on, Pasadi Food King go go, everybody go give on because this, as a, the idea of CSR, when you go buy extra food, hi, welcome. Nobody wants to hear your problem. You, I mean, as much as you may be having a rough day, but you have to be nice, you have to be nice. And then when you go in to, um, they are this place. What's, what, what's the name of this place again? Um, and they sell computers and whatnot in New York. Best Buys, you're going to Best Buys. As you reach up the door in Best Buys, and the door sliding, so the, the people ball out, Hi, welcome to Best Buys. Watch me. Best Buy. Best Buy. Hi, welcome to Best Buy. Watch me. Okay. And they know about the product, you know. I say, I like this laptop, boy. There's an Apple thing here. Right, right, right. I, and I, I said, no, I don't like this one. Let me see this one. So what's the specs on this? And she take no, you know, and why you know how that I might take this one. And she talk, but they know about the product. So they, that's what impressed you about people, you know about your product. It's like going to buy a part sometime, a part for a car. Oh, yeah, that's in the bag now. Now we do have it. Nobody are checking it on. That's why you lose business. Sometimes your sometimes your workers cause you to lose. And you must tell them to speak to people nice. Be nice. If you're nice, it, 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 it brings an energy. If you see a woke up busy and you say, hey, this man, oh, you want this arm um, shocks? Okay, what kind of car you have? I wonder if this could work, boy. I, wa I wonder if this could work. I wonder if that could work. I'm just, I just telling you. I tell you, things just take a different turn, you know, because Auntie started off with the cap. Whew. Okay? Um, hey, they had, they had a robbery at Shanty's Bar, I tell you, in St. Thomas with um, Shogunas, broken in two. Right, we have, a, a, we have a footage of the place here, Shanty's Bar. I just want them to know. I just want them to know. Yeah, she's talking in the background, Shanty. I just want you to know. We just passed on the information to ASP Dipchan. They had a big break in there at Shanty's Bar. We passed on the information to, to ASP Dipchan already. Hi, caller. Good evening. You're live on Crime Watch. No, I come to you. 25 till 11. Now, I'm going to open my gates, come inside, walk with my head up. I don't think that. I open, I put on the washroom lights. The next gate to go inside. I find a good light. And what about the light? I tell my sister to go to the light. And I watch box on the ground. I open the room. I tell my sister to come in. What kind of audio he use? I open the room. I see the door open. I see the shanty window open the door. I tell him, I said, turn something right here, you know. Something here, right? I tell him, I tell him, I got a phone, but he does. I don't open, I don't have money on my phone. I walk across, he come across, he bring the young phone, I call Shanti, I tell him, I tell him. That kind of audio, come back to me. Remember, that, that's by Shanti's bar. Find out what, what he used, and if he, if, he, if he didn't use what he was instructed to use, don't pay him for today. Yeah, let him know that, that's craziness. We can't dispatch a camera crew with a vehicle to go on a scene and with that kind of audio, find out what was the cause of that. But nevertheless, ladies and gentlemen, that is Shanti's bar. And, but we, are, we, are, we, have, we have already given information to ASP Dipchon in Shogunas. All right, the names of persons who we're looking for. In fact, after the information, one person is in custody. Yeah, so ASP Dipchon, he's working. Also, ladies and gentlemen, a CCTV footage captured a robbery at Timor supermarket in Kearney over the weekend. No, but, but before we go there, come back to me. We know the guy who the guy with the with the breaking. Remember, we had a video with a breaking with some guys yesterday. Show that video from yesterday. Text flex. Tech flex. You remember they, they went in and they, they they broke into the bar and whatnot. So I think that we have an identity of this man. Right. Look how they, they, they're taking all this stuff. Go back to the video, please. Right? And we, and we have a name for the, for the person of interest. Right? We have a name for the person of interest also. Yeah? We, we don't know if this is Jelani Rodriguez. Francis Avenue, Irving Street, San Juan. We don't know. It is alleged. It's a person of interest. If you can get in contact with us, Jelani, get in contact with us, please. 
Okay? Watch his face here. Also, ladies and gentlemen, um, CCTV footage captured bandits on a perog stealing from several poolside homes at the block of apartments behind West Mall. Watch this. Watch this. So they're pulling up behind in West Mall, those who have like beach fronts and whatnot. Like, and all, I have a lot of friends in that area. And look what, look what the criminals are doing now. That is what they're doing. They're jumping and jumping over in your house. Look at them. This is crazy. So they're behind West Mall. This is crazy. So the bandits coming in through the back of the house now. That is crazy. Look at this now. Taking up dustbin. Taking up music stuff. Watch this. Come inside your house, right behind where small enough. Remember, they have a. Uh, well, I don't want to call names of persons. I have friends here that I, that I am. Um, I go by. I don't want. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. And their their homes are just like this. Just like this. So when you hang out by them, you can you know the disease bordering on their property. But this is real craziness. And these are two different homeowners, yeah? These are two different homeowners. Watch them. Watch them. Crazy, 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 crazy. Crazy. Tomorrow, put the, put the watermark down to show their faces. Okay? Put the watermark down to show their faces. Put the water. Go ahead. One, two, three. Also, I want, I want to say hello to Bolo's rims. I, in fact, I was at their place today. I put, um, yeah, really, really good. Yeah, that's one of Bolos. And also, ladies and gentlemen, this is what just happened at Chancellor Hill. Those of you who are trying to go make your way to Chancellor Hill, this just happened in Chancellor a while ago. All right. Also, I want to say happy birthday to Margaret. Margaret, have a picture. All right, happy Uh, what's his name? Okay, happy, happy birthday to Margaret and happy birthday to Fatman. Happy birthday, Fatman from Charlene. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> happy birthday. Well, whatever they say, his nickname is Fatman. Happy birthday, sir. Right? Ooh. It's easy. It's easy in this place. It's easy. It's easy. And also we hear in reports of police shot a police shot at a vehicle in San Juan a while ago. Go ahead. This is what's happening in San Juan right now. Yeah, they're not playing. They're not playing. Yes, and the customer service at Modern, at, um, Modern Electric was good. <laughs> Shagona's branch, yeah, let's tell you that. Okay, the customer service date was good. I, I had no problems. We bought some stuff from them, yeah. Watch. A man come out police now shoot a big car. A man now pick a bullet. Police now shoot a And they're going inside a car. And they're going inside the next car. The police now shoot up this guy in Sawa by subway. Police now shoot up a car here in Sawa. 
Police shoot a bika. A man now pick a bullet. Police now shoot. And they gone inside a car. And they gone inside a next car. The police now shoot up this guy in Sawa by subway. Police now shoot up a car here in Sawa. Police now shoot up. Right, so ladies and gentlemen, we, a businesswoman was robbed at a home in Faisabad on Friday. Around 8.45, the 45-year-old woman was at a home along Chatur Avenue when she heard a dog, dogs barking uncontrollably in the yard. She went to the front door to investigate the noise and was confronted by two masked men, one armed with a firearm, by the other with, uh, with a cutlass. The man announced a robbery and began to assault the woman before one of them held her and dragged her up, her, up the stairs. The suspect then ransacked the house and took 5,000 cash. When you hear dogs barking, stay inside your house. If somebody come outside and they watch around, then you could come out, but make sure that person's outside. But don't come out, don't, don't venture outside if you're hearing noise. I'm hearing also that um, Bamboo Creek, we're hearing that somebody was, somebody was robbed at Bamboo Creek, that's in Chinchin. So they, they are, they are, yeah, they had a home invasion. Yeah, there's a gated community. Somebody in Bamboo Creek, they had a, a home invasion this morning. So it's very, very serious. That's Bamboo Creek in, in Chinchin. Nice place, very, very nice place. We don't know how it happened, but we got reports about a home invasion this morning. Apparently, hmm, boy, that thing just crazy. Really, really crazy. A rest, also, a restaurant and bar in Studley Park, Tobago, was discovered broken into on Friday 13. Around 8 a.m., the owner of the establishment along the, the, the Windward Main Road, had just returned when he observed the building broken. He further investigated the restaurant and discovered a quantity of alcohol, beverages, and cigarettes together with 3,651 missing. He also observed 3,000 cash, which was left in the register. Well, ladies and gentlemen, um, a man identified also as Sean Khan was reportedly beaten, robbed, and thrown out of his car along the Southern Main Road Enterprise on Sunday. Again, a man identified as Sean Khan was reportedly beaten and robbed and thrown out of his car along the southern main road in Enterprise. Also banded in a silver Toyota vehicle registration, PDT 6284, stage a robbery of Channel 6 by Mayaro. That is what we are hearing. Bandits in a silver Toyota vehicle registration, PDT 6284, stage a robbery at Channel 6 bar in Mayaro. That is all we are hearing. Channel 6 bar. Yeah, that is, that is the footage. That is the bar. Okay, that is these people coming out here. All right, we need the original footage. If somebody can get the original footage from the bar, all we know that this car here, PDT 6284, that is how they stage robbery at Channel 6 Bar. Channel 6 Bar. Along, um, right, so ladies and gentlemen, we are all, uh, at 6 Bar in Mayaro. So ladies and gentlemen, we are out of time. Have a wonderful night. I'm going to be back tomorrow. We have a lot to do, a lot to, a lot to show you. And um, tomorrow we want to talk about the credit. I think, I think there's a media release from Republic Bank with some uh, Republic Bank response to credit card processing discrepancies. And um, tomorrow we're going to run with that. And, um, in fact, Shanty Big Republic Bank is aware that several credit card holders of other banks saw a transaction that were conducted between the 14th of uh, August to the 6th, the September 6th at certain merchants being reversed and reposted within the past few days. The bank acknowledged this was because of a technical challenge, challenges experienced with, with our credit card processing system, which resulted in the original transaction being incorrectly processed as U, uh, U.S. transaction. The bank also confirmed that these issues have since been corrected. So this is, this is a, um, they, they, they did acknowledge, which I find Rep Republic Bank was really good. And as you know, ladies and gentlemen, try to conserve on water because the desalination plant it's done right now from Monday the 6th to Tuesday, 16th of October to Tuesday 24th. So please be, you know, kind of take it down, try not to waste no water and whatnot, okay? Um, just to let you know, RMA has some excellent water pumps and tanks and whatnot, and you should go visit him. Ladies and gentlemen, we're out of time. Have a wonderful, have a, have a wonderful night. I'll be back tomorrow. We have a lot to show you on the rundown. It was a very interesting night. If you have any information on drugs and guns and whatnot, go to my website, ianallen.org, and let me know. So have a wonderful night. Good night.